If your games lag or stutter, your CPU is the problem. Today, I'll show you how to push it to its full power so you can get higher FPS and smooth, stable gameplay every time. We're going beyond basic settings and unlocking tweaks that Windows hides by default. Tweaks that stop your CPU from wasting power and make sure every bit of it is working for your games. Follow along step by step and by the end of this guide, your processor will be running at peak performance. Let's dive in. What's the with the lag and and hyping while you play games so guys you need gear up booster this is the ultimate tool to lower your ping boost stability and give you zero lag pro players like asian jeff and polarized use it to stay ahead so why not you download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match step one boost cpu performance with a foreground priority registry tweak one of the most overlooked reasons for FPS drops, stutters, or slow response times in games is how Windows handles CPU scheduling. By default, it gives equal importance to background tasks and the apps you're using. While fine for multitasking, this is bad for gaming because your CPU wastes resources on processes that don't matter mid-game. When that happens, you get inconsistent frame times, delayed inputs, and reduced performance. By changing a single registry value, we can make Windows focus more on your game and less on background activity, unlocking smoother, more responsive gameplay. To apply this tweak, click on the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Right-click it and choose Run as Administrator so you have full access. Once it's open, copy the registry path provided in the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top of the registry editor, then press enter. This will take you directly to the correct key. Now, locate the value named Win32 Priority Separation, right click on it and select Modify. In the window that appears, set the value data to 26, ensure the base is set to hexadecimal and click OK to save the changes. This command tells Windows to give more CPU priority to the apps you are actively using, your games, over background tasks. After doing this, close the registry editor. You'll now have a CPU that responds faster to your gaming needs, leading to better FPS stability and reduced micro stutters. The result is smoother gameplay and quicker input response, especially on low to mid-range processes. Step 2. Apply full CPU optimization pack for maximum performance. Even after adjusting the registry for better CPU focus, your system can still be limited by hidden bottlenecks, background processes, and settings. Windows never optimizes for gaming. Many of these tweaks aren't in standard menus and need advanced knowledge or specialized tools. That's where a CPU optimization pack helps. It's a set of tested, safe tweaks targeting CPU scheduling, driver behavior, and power management. Whether on Intel or AMD, this step lets your processor run at full potential, improving frame stability and reducing input lag in competitive games. To get started, head over to uptopacks.com and open the FPS Boost section. Find the post that matches this video's title and thumbnail to ensure you're downloading the exact file being demonstrated. Once located, download the CPU optimization pack, extract the zip file to your desktop and open the folder named CPU optimization. Inside, you'll see several tweak files and an instruction document. Follow it closely to apply each tweak correctly. These tweaks adjust how your CPU handles different workloads, prioritizing speed and responsiveness over background processes. Next, open the CPU priority folder inside the main package. Here you'll find two subfolders, Intel and AMD. Choose the one that matches your processor. For Intel, open the Intel folder and apply the included file. AMD users should do the same with their folder. This applies CPU scheduling rules and driver level configurations optimized for each architecture, ensuring games always get the processing power they need. Now, install the Quick Boost application provided in the same pack. This utility is essential. It applies real-time optimizations to improve CPU behavior and reduce background lag. Once launched, you'll see several tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. Let's start with the General tab, which includes essential tweaks that should always be applied, especially after a Windows update. 
One of the first things you'll want to do is enable exclusive full screen mode, which helps boost gaming performance by stopping windows from interrupting or adding overhead to your games. Next, make sure to disable the Xbox Game Bar, as it runs silently in the background and can eat up valuable CPU power. Also, turn off startup telemetry, which prevents windows from collecting unnecessary usage data at boot. It's also recommended to disable mouse acceleration here, which results in more accurate and consistent mouse movements, a big plus for gamers. Another key setting is turning off power saving mode, which allows your CPU to run at full strength without being throttled. On top of that, you can stop certain system services from running silently in the background and using up performance resources. And finally, this section also lets you easily uninstall pre-installed apps and games that clutter up your system, saving storage space and reducing startup delays. Now head over to the Advanced tab, which contains more technical options designed to push performance further. A standout tweak here is disabling power forward link, which removes a background power saving feature that can hold back your system during heavy gaming or rendering tasks. This tab also has several RAM optimization tweaks that help your memory run more efficiently, leading to faster load times and smoother multitasking. You'll also find the option to tune the hardware data queue size, which can improve input response times, especially useful for competitive gamers who need every millisecond to count. After that, go to the storage tab, which gives you quick access to several system cleanup tools. From here, you can remove temporary files, clear old log files, and even run a full Windows disk cleanup to delete outdated system cache. You can also get rid of random leftover files that accumulate with regular use. Performing these cleanup tasks helps reduce clutter, frees up drive space, and can lead to faster boot times and a more responsive desktop experience overall. Next. Open the Windows tab, which includes UI and experience-focused tweaks that still impact performance. For example, enabling show hidden folders makes it easier to manually find and delete temp files. You can also turn off notifications, which helps eliminate pop-ups and distractions during gaming or work. Another useful setting is disabling clipboard history, which keeps your system from holding on to unnecessary text or file data. Lastly, disabling transparency effects may slightly change the look of your desktop, but it greatly reduces the load on your graphics and processor, especially helpful on low-spec machines. Once you've applied all these settings, restart your PC to activate every change. After this, your CPU will run in a fully optimized state. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Optimize Windows power settings for maximum CPU output. Many gamers don't realize that Windows power settings can limit CPU performance, even on high-end systems. By default, they often prioritize energy saving, which can prevent your CPU from hitting full speed during gameplay. This is common on laptops and pre-built desktops, where power-saving features reduce heat and noise. While fine for light tasks, in gaming, it can cause FPS drops, slower frame rendering, and poor responsiveness. By adjusting a few hidden settings, we can ensure your CPU always runs at maximum potential when gaming. 
To apply these changes, open the Windows search bar, type power, and select choose a power plan. In the window that appears, switch your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if it's available. These modes are designed to remove performance caps and ensure your hardware isn't throttled for the sake of power saving. Once that's done, click change plan settings, then change advanced power settings for deeper adjustments. In the new window, scroll down and expand the PCI Express section. Locate link state power management and set it to off. This disables a latency-causing power-saving feature that can slow down your CPU or GPU during high-intensity tasks. Next, scroll to Processor Power Management and expand it. Set both the minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This forces your CPU to maintain full clock speeds at all times, preventing Windows from automatically lowering its performance mid-game. Once all adjustments are made, click Apply and OK to save. After doing this, your CPU will always be ready to deliver peak performance without throttling, resulting in smoother frame pacing, higher FPS, and fewer performance dips in CPU-intensive games. Step 4. Unlock CPU cores and disable unnecessary services for faster performance. One of the most common reasons for slow startup times and hidden CPU bottlenecks in gaming is that Windows doesn't always use your processor's full potential. Sometimes, it may not enable all CPU cores during boot, causing delays and reduced responsiveness. Background services from third-party software can also silently eat away at CPU performance. By unlocking all CPU cores and disabling unnecessary services, we can ensure your processor is fully active and focused on delivering the best gaming experience possible. All right, everyone, now let's jump into the tweak. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing system configuration. Click on it when it appears to launch the system configuration window. Once inside, switch to the boot tab located at the top, then click the advanced options button to reveal more detailed settings. In the advanced boot options window, check the box labeled number of processors. This lets you manually specify how many CPU cores Windows should use during startup. Click the drop down menu and select the highest number available, whether that's 4, 8, 16 or more cores depending on your processor. Choosing the maximum number ensures your CPU isn't artificially limited during boot, which can speed up startup times and reduce latency in games. After making your selection, press OK to save your changes. Next, navigate to the Services tab. First, enable the checkbox for Hide All Microsoft Services to avoid accidentally disabling vital system processes. With Microsoft services hidden, carefully review the remaining third-party services and disable any that aren't necessary, especially those running silently in the background and consuming valuable CPU resources. Once applied, your CPU will be fully active from the moment you boot your PC and fewer background services will compete for processing power. The result is faster system startup, smoother gameplay, and better overall responsiveness during intensive gaming sessions. Step 5. Disable core isolation to free up CPU resources. Many Windows users don't realize that certain security features, while useful for protection, can also consume significant processing power. One example is Core Isolation, a virtualization-based security function that constantly runs in the background to safeguard your system. This process uses CPU cycles that could otherwise be dedicated to your game, and on mid-range or older systems, it can noticeably affect frame rates and responsiveness. By disabling it, we can redirect those resources back to performance, but it's important to weigh the security trade-off before making changes. To do this, open the Windows search bar and type Core Isolation, then click the matching result to open the settings page. Inside, you'll see a toggle for Core Isolation. While this feature does add an extra layer of malware protection, it also requires constant CPU activity to function, which can limit your system's maximum performance. Turning it off stops this background usage and frees up more CPU capacity for gaming. 
After making the change, keep in mind that disabling core isolation reduces your system's protection against certain threats, so decide based on your personal security needs. Once disabled, your CPU will have more available power, which can translate into smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and the more responsive desktop experience. Alright guys, that wraps up today's video. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more performance guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.